Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about looping through the pages on your site in Jekyll. So one of the things that you're going to want to eventually do if you're building a Jekyll layout is loop through some of the pages on your site. And you can do this to build a navigation list or to show the users what content you have available. And in order to do that, we're going to need to use a loop. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how you can loop through all of the blog posts on your site and display them on the homepage of your website. Over here, I have open right now this home.html layout. And this is the layout that's being used by the homepage of our site. So I'm here on this index.markdown file, and you can see that it's using this home layout. And this is the home page of our website. So anything that I put inside of this home.html layout is going to go over here on our website on our home page. So what I want to do is loop through all of the blog posts on my site. And in the post folder, you'll see that I have four blog posts created. So we're going to loop through and basically just list out all of those blog posts. And the way that we do that is by creating a for loop. So over here in this layout, I'm just going to type open and close curly brackets, 2% signs. And I just want to type out for post in site.posts. And basically what this is saying is for each of the posts inside of all of the posts on the site, we want to do something. And then down here, we can just end this for loop. So I'll just say end for just like that. And now inside of here, we can access this post variable. And every for every iteration through this loop, that post variable is going to represent a different post on our website. So the first time we go through the loop, it'll represent the first post. The second time, it'll represent the second post, etc. So we can actually just access this post, for example, the title. So I could say post.title, and I could just print that out. And then, whoops, we will just make a break here. So now when I go over to the home page of my website and I refresh the page, what you'll see is all the page or all the posts on the website will get listed out. And that's exactly what happens. So we have four posts. The first one is welcome to Jekyll, and then my third post, my second post, and my first post. So they're listed out just like that. And when you're looping through all these posts, you can access all of the variables that you would normally have access to for uh, a particular page. So if I wanted to, I could access like the URL, right? And now instead of listing out the titles, it'll list out the URLs. So I can actually use this to create like a navigation list. So I might want to create a list item and then inside of here, we'll make a link and we'll give the href to be post.url. And then we'll make the link text post.title. So what this should do is create a entire list, um, basically a navigation list of all the blogs on our site. And you can see it does. So if I click Welcome to Jekyll, it brings me to the Welcome to Jekyll blog post. If I click My First Post, it brings me to the My First Post blog post, right? So it's bringing us to each one of those blog posts. And it basically, we were able to construct this navigation list using this for loop. So being able to loop through the you know elements on your site is, is really cool. And in addition to looping through the posts, I could also loop through pages. So I could say site.pages. And now instead of listing out the blog posts, it'll list out all the pages, right? And only one of these pages has a dot title, um, which is this about page down here. And the other ones don't, like this 404 page doesn't. Uh, the index page doesn't, but you kind of get the point, right? Is you can loop through the different um, attributes on your website. So I can loop through the posts, I can loop through the pages, and I could display them uh, just like this on, for example, the home page of my website. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.